So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Welcome to the iPhone 12 versus the iPhone 14 Pro speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, one, and see which one could get there first. Now, the iPhone 12 does have an Apple A14 Bionic chipset. It does have four gigabytes of RAM. And the funny thing is, both of these are pretty similar in their feel besides having more premium materials. They're both 6.1 inch displays. We have an Apple A16 Bionic over here with six gigabytes of RAM on the iPhone 14 Pro in the Dynamic Island versus the older notch. So essentially, Pretty, there's a couple of differences, but you might have an iPhone 12, love this size, wanted to upgrade to the iPhone 14 Pro, and you just wanna see how much more performance you're gonna get here day to day versus your current iPhone 12. So let's take a look at Face ID. So if we take a look, you'll see both of them unlock at the same time. So yeah, we're getting basically the same performance on both when unlocking the phones. Now, both of them do run the latest version of iOS currently, which is 16.1.1 in terms of official. So if we go ahead and check for updates, you'll see that is the official version of the software. So we are up to date here. So let's get on with the application test right now. All right, so here we are at the application test. You could see everything close out for both. Let's go on a calendar and you could see pretty similar. We'll go on the clock and also pretty similar. What about calculator? Pretty similar. We'll go into weather. And that's also pretty similar. We'll go into App Store. And you could see App Store first on the right. And let's go through some of those sub menus in there. We'll go to games. And we'll go to today. And we'll go back over here to apps. So once in the application, doesn't seem like a big difference here overall. Let's go into Instagram. And you could see Instagram first there. It looked like on the right. You could see once we're in here, no big issue. We'll go into Twitter. And you could see Twitter first on the right by a hair. And you could see once in the application, iPhone 12 still doing fantastic considering its age. Okay, it's not five years old. It's only from 2020, but you know, they're already going to be on the iPhone 15 here in just nine months or so. So iPhone 12 holding its own just fine. Let's go into eBay and you can see eBay first there on the right. My eBay search pretty good. We'll go into Groupon. So what this is showing me so far is that if you have an iPhone 12 and you come over to the 14 Pro, you'll get a hair better performance but mm, you're gonna get more of a feel of more premium. You're gonna enjoy the dynamic island, the camera upgrades, battery lasts longer. Those are more the things you'll probably notice here. Let's go into Starbucks, but I think just having a hair quicker overall, it still might feel faster to you just because it technically is. And as all these little microseconds add up, you'll just feel like the iPhone 14 Pro is a little bit more blazing fast than the iPhone 12. Not that the iPhone 12 wasn't blazing fast, but the iPhone 14 Pro does have the latest chip, does have more RAM, and for that reason alone, it should provide you with a little bit more blistering performance. As you can see right here, when it comes to the games, it's always gonna turn on faster because it can just, it has more power to load these games. And as those games get more graphically intensive, it will perform better once again. So iPhone 12 behind for sure in gaming department. We'll go into Subway Surfers. And that's not to say iPhone 12 can't play games. It can play pretty much everything on the App Store. But the thing is, is that you can play, you know, everything on the App Store and be like overkill performance on the iPhone 14 Pro, AKA nothing will challenge the iPhone 14 Pro pretty much right now. So that's pretty good. We'll go into Crossy Roads, and you can see Crossy Road is first here. Looks like on the iPhone 14 Pro. Yes, sir. It's definitely gonna be faster there on the right. So once we get into the games, 
it's going to the 14 pro every time basically you can see bang there it goes again not going to be by a lot here this is a pretty basic game but in there for the win once again so once you start loading up those games you start playing them games that's where the 14 pro is going to shine let's go into geekbench 5 but if you don't play games regular stuff is not going to be a big challenge for the iphone hold on it's not going to be a big challenge for the iphone 12 and you can see pretty similar let's make sure that's fair because yeah it's faster on the iphone 14 pro overall yes the 14 pro feels faster it's got the 120 hertz display which feels smoother the applications are a hair quicker in pretty much every regard so that's going to make it feel like a faster phone but the iphone 12 still performs very well if you just want to wait it out to the 15th because you're you're just tired of you know waiting on these 14 pros or you just want to wait to the 15 in general or your bill's not up or whatever you're not going to be left in the dust it's not like it's a slow phone it's just the 14 pro is a little bit more blistering fast all right guys so let's run back through the applications we'll begin with the iphone 12. you can see iphone 12 holding everything fine so far we'll see if we see a reload here this is only four gigs of ram and i believe the iphone 13 there we go i believe the iphone 13 was reloading too so let's see where we're at here iphone 12 there goes App Store again. Weather's good to go. And um, yeah, so not much, but definitely a couple. Let's see if the 14 Pro holds a little bit better. Man, the animations with the 120 hertz, it just looks so much smoother. And we might've had a reload there on Asphalt. Nope, we were good. What a Best Buy, Groupon. It's just like butter scrolling off of there. We'll go into Amazon. Twitter, Instagram. So not a big deal of difference here, but you know, it's not the end of the world either. You know, the iPhone 12 did fine here, but the 14 Pro, when you're multitasking, going between multi applications at once, scrolling through them, you know, it's gonna feel faster and smoother snapping through on the iPhone 14 Pro. And here are the final scores. So you can see in single, it's not a major jump, so getting the multi-core much higher is probably the reason why we're seeing the games load up a lot faster for the iPhone 14 Pro. So you really, you gotta want this power or need this power in order to take advantage of what the 14 Pro offers. Otherwise, it's probably a little bit overkill. So we're gonna go ahead and start a Wildlife Extreme and I'll be back with the final results of this test as well. And here are our final wildlife scores. You can see 2084 on the iPhone 12, over here 3353 for the iPhone 14 Pro. But take a look at the average frame rate. That's what I want you to pay attention to. Eight frames per second higher. That can mean the difference between a laggy gaming experience or some delay here and there or not. So if you play things that really push the CPU, you know, you'll want the iPhone 14 Pro. If you're editing 4K video on here, you'll want the iPhone 14 Pro. Definitely this phone right here is the move for that stuff. Also, if you're using camera and you want to take advantage of raw and all those type of things, the 14 Pro is the better move as well. But in terms of pure speed, it's definitely the move. If you just want everyday iPhone performance though, don't just go get the 14 Pro if you're just looking for a good phone. This phone is still fantastic. And honestly, if this hasn't done enough to impress you, I would stick it out on my iPhone 12 and wait till the 15. But if this is not enough to impress you, it's definitely a go. Let me know your thoughts about it down below in the comments. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here, be sure to be well and peace.